Namaste. I would like to start with a question. Um, answer this question to yourself, not to me. Are you blind to the clutter around you? Now what I mean by clutter around you is not the house you're staying in, whether there is too much of this, too much furniture, too many things in the house, I'm not talking of that clutter. Of course, if you clear that clutter out, it is very, very therapeutic. Lot of people to feel nice from within, very often clean their cupboards, remove all the old clothes, remove all the old shoes or remove all the old stuff that you have kept for so long just throw them away or give them away what is not necessary that yes is very 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 terrible i'm talking of the clutter which is there in your mind are you blind to the clutter that is there in your mind very 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 often people come in such a confused state in their mind <clears throat> to me even for healing they really don't know what they want and the line that they use is i'm very spiritual I'm spiritually inclined. I can't tell them, okay, sorry, this is not what is spiritual or spiritually inclined. There is so much confusion. If there's so much confusion, how can you? Because if you are spiritual, first thing what spirituality does is clears the clutter which is there in your mind. It makes your path so peaceful and straight. There is no confusion. So this could be a thing of a seeker who's trying to seek that there is confusion, there is clutter and I don't know, I want to get on the spiritual path. I can understand that. But if you are already on the path, there should be no clutter here. There, are, there is so much of an emotional entanglement that is going on inside. There is so much of a relationship issues that are going on inside. Oh my God. <clears throat> And I have seen a lot of healers and a lot of facilitators who have got so much clutter in their head and I always wonder that how can they uh, treat somebody else, how can they heal somebody or deal with somebody else if they have not cleared their clutter. So my dear friends, is this very important for you to know or ask yourself, is there clutter in your mind? <clears throat> Are you confused about things? Are you confused about how to live life? Are you confused about your relations? Are you confused about your emotions? You feel this one done one minute, this you feel that one minute. There is so much of unrest inside. There's so much of unrest out here. And if there is no peace in your mind, how can you even relate to anybody else? Even with your children or your family, your husband, your parents, your in-laws, you can't relate with your, your close ones either when there is so much clutter here. So, what I want to tell you is, if there is so much clutter here, first let's start with the basic step. Let's start getting into the state of acceptance of certain things. If there is a relationship issue you're having, a health issue you're having, or whatever issue you're having in your life, just first, it may be difficult, you may not agree with me, but I'm telling you this is the best exercise you can do. What you can do is just be with yourself and accept this for a change. Yes, I have this emotional problem. I have this relationship issue. I have health issues. I have financial issues. I've got all issues. Accept it. Don't fight with it in your mind. Because when you're fighting with it, it, it adds on the, the neurological wiring that is going on. When you, it reiterates, I have this issue, I have this issue, I have this issue. So it goes on making those that wiring stronger <clears throat> and it adds to more confusion in your space so first foremost just you'll feel lighter when you do that okay yes i have this problem and i don't know how to deal with it i have these issues just accept it to yourself you'll feel so much lighter in your heart when you do that accept it write down whatever clutter is there in your mind so that you're clear about what is the clutter. Otherwise there's a confusion even in the clutter. <laughs> that makes things even worse. So write down, I have these, 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 these issue and I accept it. The minute you accept certain things, you get answers. So deal with one issue at one time. If you have a relationship issue, which is your burning issue, the first issue that you have, okay. 
I have a relationship issue. It could be with anybody around you in your space. I need help. Ask the universe. I need to sort this out. Can you please guide me? Now what will happen is you have opened the door welcoming guidance in your life. Okay, so when you say that, universe will either connect you to somebody who can help you out in this. It could be a healer, it could be a, um, a doctor, it could be a, anybody. <clears throat> It could be even a book which you will get in your hand and probably you will know while reading the book certain questions which are going on in your mind, they might, they might get answered. You might see a film. In the film probably the same issue what you are going through is that person who is going through in the film. Anything can happen. So now keep your doors open to receiving any help or messages you are getting from the universe. Again here, if you are rigid, about no, I must get a message this way only. I must get somebody who will call me on the phone only and then tell me this or I must get a healer who's... It doesn't happen that way. Universe does not work with your convenience and your attitude. Anything can come from anywhere. So be in that mode of receiving that help will come and it will come from anywhere and that will be exactly the way that will be helping you. So trust the universe, accept first is accept when you get help and how you get help be in the receiving mode that you are open to whatever kind of help you get in whichever way it comes. So when, when your first issue is sorted then you go to the next issue. You will yourself feel much calmer. So when one issue gets sorted, it could be interconnected with the other issues that you have. It can just happen that one burning issue is sorted, everything else, everything else in the jigsaw puzzle has started falling in place. It might happen even that way. Most of the time, one problem leads to the other and gets complicated with the other and all those things happen. So this is what I call clutter blindness. Are you blind to the clutter? Again, as I said earlier, that if you clean your house, your cupboards or whatever is lying around, you don't want to shift, change, remove, that also therapeutically helps you get out of the clutter in your brain. It works for a short time though, but it does work. It makes you feel lighter. So you can try that also. Second, be open to receiving any advice that comes from the other. Don't be in this attitude, Yo, what this, is, this person is going to tell me, what is he going to tell me? He doesn't know anything. No, you never know who will tell you what. Sometimes a small child says something which is an answer to your question. Sometimes a domestic help may say something which could be, a, which will strike you something, oh, I didn't realize this. So that acceptance of receiving answers from any way, through anybody should you should allow that to happen so it opens the gateways for the universe to send you so much help from all angles if you keep rigid i want it only this way or this way or this way there's a restriction and that may not happen and then you will say to you oh i did whatever you told me but it didn't happen <clears throat> so when you're walking the spiritual path these questions or these things are very very important first is to remove the clutter which is in your mind be open open your eyes to the clutter don't be blind to the clutter a lot of people have this habit of pushing their problems under the carpet and going on in life in that same fashion somewhere it is going to erupt then it erupts in your body then it affects your body health you will get high blood pressure you will get migraines you will get um, diabetes something or the other because it has to come somewhere it cannot remain in the body like this so much of tension it has to erupt somewhere you don't want that you surely don't want that so start working on yourself no how simple is it it is working on yourself only it is you your body your life how hard is it to work on ourselves nobody else needs to know anything 
It is you and your personal space where you're working at and working on. Right? So, if you do like this advice, it's fine. Uh, do comment down below and um, interact with me. If you need any help from me, uh, go on my website www.smitajaika.com We have various modalities where I can help you get out of all these situations. So you can get in touch with me anytime. Okay? And thank you very much for listening to me. Namaste.